Hi folks, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you're seeing me, welcome. Hey! What? Can't I remember my intro again? <laughs> welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new hi hey what is up and how is your day going as you've already seen by today's title is a hair vlog it's probably gonna be a really short vlog but hey ho let us see how it goes so you see this hair i'm taking it out you don't want to know what's behind my head it's sad so i'm just gonna sit down and cut my hair like I'm, yeah i'm just gonna cut it like into a lower than because my hair is short anyways the main point of this vlog i'm on a serious hair growth journey basically said i can't i did like a big chop like two to three months ago i probably popped the picture somewhere on the screen i did like a really big chop and like my hair is like really short like let me give you a glimpse let's say like this i want to take you guys through the taking down process i'm gonna wash my hair this night and also weave my hair back because that's gonna this is this night's gonna be long so i'm probably gonna stay by 3 a.m the morning and i have gym in the morning tomorrow <laughs> and i'm still gonna put a wig on because i do this thing where i put braids or like this kind of hair for like a month then i weave my hair then i'm on wigs for the next two months that's how i've been practically been growing my hair so it has been helping me because like i think what they what the girlies be saying is that oh low manipulation helps the hair grow so that's what i want to do that's the point of this vlog i just want to i don't want to put this in like in a everyday vlog that i do because actually i'm having this hair as a journey because i actually want my hair to grow like i want to look back and be like girl you did that you know like this is like a video diary of my hair facts about my hair my hair is high porosity meaning that it has gone through a lot of damage like most people that have high porosity hair they have had more chemical damage but this hair i have in my head is not really hasn't really had any form of chemical damage done to it so we thank god but at the end of the day it's because yeah, it has had chemical damage beforehand so my hair is high porosity so it needs a lot of protein a lot of or not a lot of oils but more of protein so protein like rice water castor oil protein treatments and like regular washing hope you enjoyed this vlog no matter how short it is hope you get what you get from this video and yeah yeah Any what? Charming. Let him be that. Till tomorrow. Yeah, it has been a whole day and I have not finished this hair still. It's not even funny. First of all, I went to the gym late, as usual guilty as charged came back made breakfast and i started, made, I started losing this hair by like let's say 240 and i've only gone halfway 
then I'm gonna wash it. Like I don't know, man. The way this vlog is being dragged out is really annoying. But like, hey ho, I'm being here myself because I just feel like doing it myself. I'm watching. I was watching Indiana Jones. But yeah, I'm almost done. Uh, yeah. Yeah. My hair has grown, guys. Look how short my hair is. This is my hair. I hate my hair. I can't believe it. Let's not even, I don't want to try and act like it's one kind of like hair positivity video. It's not. I don't like my hair. It's so short. It's length of the hair. Let's see. Yeah, it's still really short. I'm going to wash my hair now. Let's go. Fine. I really just like to do a wash my hair in the shower and shower after because I just feel like just more convenient. And then I can time my styles. I use... I use Share Moisture. I use Share Moisture, the Manuka Honey one. I can't lie, I feel like they're not doing what it's supposed to be doing. So when these are finished, I'm probably gonna get a uh, shampoo and conditioner from As I Am or from Camel Rose. I use shampoo twice on my hair. I also use the Miel Hair Mask. I'm gonna show you all of these in a second. I also use this like massage thingy. I can scalp and touch to massage my scalp while I'm shampooing my hair. So let's just get on with that. And I don't want to talk too much because I want to actually shower my I actually want to wash my hair quickly. So let's let's get straight into that. This is what the hair is saying. My friend's gonna help me blow dry my hair. Then I'll put some shea butter in. And I'm gonna wrap it for the night. And tomorrow I'm gonna put cornrows in. And I'm gonna put my wig on. So yeah, this is how my hair is. Oh yeah, for, there's, forget about the cream on my forehead. Yeah. 
yeah i didn't rub that in quickly but just yeah just let's ignore that so basically hair yeah it's really forcey i like how it is the curl pattern is very defined and everything i'm actually quite happy with the progress of my hair because my hair I cut my hair like at least I think it was in July like I properly cut my hair and like it was low so like this is actually a good growth because yeah like I want my hair to at least be like shoulder length even if even if it shrinks to where to wherever but yeah I'm gonna ask my friend to come in now and blow dry my hair period I guess so it's been somewhat blow dried. I'm thinking I'm thinking of putting them in like puffs. So like they are, they, are, they stay the way they are so that my friend can be able to like catch them when it comes to doing my cornrows tomorrow. But yeah. I'm probably gonna do that. Uh, I don't know, but I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow. Again, short vlog. It's just a quick hair routine, like hair update, like just a hair vlog like I said in the beginning. I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow morning. I look like a fruit shoot wait she did my hair for me guys oh my god this is so pretty like under edges i'm just gonna put it on my wig here we it my forehead this is why i didn't use to do cameras because my forehead will just come out but it's okay it's okay she did a great job see how tiny my hair is okay yeah I'm just gonna put mousse on it because we don't wanna mess up the hair. My mom got this wig from uh what's it called? I put the name wait it's from it's a glueless wig that has fringes in the front. Thank you. Also, um Chidera bought me a wig for my birthday. So I'm probably gonna wear that wig during half term. I don't know what I call it. What do you call a break between like well, you know if you're in university, like anybody that's in university and you have like a break, what do you call it? Do you call it half term? Because I don't know the right word for it. I love it. All I have to do is properly wear a what's it called? A wig cap and then I'll put like and I'll probably straighten the hair because like the the part the front is wonky because I did not keep it properly but I'm not a bob babe. Ba 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 I'm not gonna rest. I'm gonna see you guys in my next vlog. Bye bye. So I kind of realized that I didn't like show you guys the products I use to grow my hair which was kind of the point of this video. Obviously we have the shampoo and conditioner and then wash that off, you blow dry the hair and you put some kind of protective style in. I use this method called the LCO, LCO meaning liquid, C meaning cream, 
own mini oil or you can use the LOC I think the LOC is for hyperactive but I'm not too sure basically use liquid first liquid could either be water rice water spray or leave-in conditioner this is a thick living conditioner but basically in your routine you should always have a living conditioner that I use every single day I use this meal leave-in conditioner this worked perfectly for me unfortunately this has finished but I use this as a sealant sometimes when my rice water spray had finished then for an oil I use the wild growth oil I've used this for a month and I can tell you guys that if I use this properly every single week my hair would have grown drastically this actually works but the issue with this product is they sell the fix and it's annoying I got it from TikTok shop so hopefully it's, the, it's working for me so I think it's the real one this is the only oil I use sometimes I also get original castor oil and I put that in my hair but when this finishes I'm probably gonna get the castor oil the when the castor oil finishes I'm gonna buy the wild growth oil so more like I just substitute which one I want because oh no yeah so basically this is the only oil I use and I use like two to three times a week then for the C meaning cream because my hair loses a lot of moisture quickly I always strive to put some kind of butter in my hair so obviously I'm African we use shea butter original shea butter <laughs> so you use some kind of moisturizing shea butter but any kind of moisturizing shea butter would always help with your hair so there we go for some kind of cream thick butter the, the point of the cream is for anything thick to like put everything in your hair so something thick I don't use this every day I use this like every weak because i don't like when my hair is too oily when you have so much products in your roots you don't have so much build up and it's not gonna grow that's basically the gist of it for my holy grail i use this basically the ordinary multi-peptide serum for hair density this helps with growth exponentially when i say you guys this is not a joke this is not something you play with this actually works i use this in the middle of my hair and you can see the growth in literally one month it helps with volume the main reason why i bought this product i got it from boots the main reason why i got this because I, I wanted my hair to be fuller because i don't really have a lot of hair like i used to have so this really helps with volume and you guys please get this please personally for me i don't like when there's so much oil in my hair so some days when i don't feel like putting oil i just use this and a little goes a long way you can just put like five drops in your hair and make sure you massage it all over your hair i also have this castor oil cream yeah i have castor oil cream this i do not use this every day i only use this when i have to like put in my cornrows or like put some kind of protective style or like when i'm trying to part my hair so that there is some kind of moisture in my hair obviously because castor oil is good for my hair and it's good for hair growth so there is that so that saying that's all my products well some of the tips i do for growing my hair is washing my hair at least twice or thrice a month it's kind of hard to stick to that schedule because school is always beating my behind keep your hair in a bonnet if you're gonna put so much oil in your hair and you sleep like that you're gonna literally lose all the moisture so you're gonna just be wasting money for no reason bye oh wait i don't even know Bye! <laughs>